Welcome, Titans, and I would like to correct my earlier announcement. Um, in the program, the name of the principal is incorrect. Um, it looks like Alejandra Insuza is the principal of every school in Sweetwater, and that is not true. <laughs> the principal at East Lake High, in fact, is Ricardo Cook. Ricardo Cook. There. Uh oh. There's. A, is it on? There? Yeah. There's a nasty rumor going around the United States that concert choirs are fading away. It's a lie, and here's how I know. We started. Well, three years ago, they cut concert choir because there were only 12 people in it. So the next year, we got 20, but it was COVID year. So. The next year, we started last year with 10 students. This year, we started with 55. It's just going to keep going. So, this is Titan Concert Choir from East Lake High School. spiritual it came from the Civil War time now spirituals are a part of our American history no matter what color of skin we have and this one was special to me because in 1995 I was asked to join the Albert McNeil Jubilee Singers which is a professional black concert choir black concert choir but what a joy it was for me to be able to travel the world singing spirituals. Our conductor, Albert McNeil, just passed last Tuesday at the age of 102. And he was conducting well after he was 100 years old. 
So I'm so glad I chose that piece earlier this year because now it even means more to me. Now the next piece I chose is called The Christmas Wish, which we all call A Christmas Fish. But this was a song we sang when I was in high school back in 1902. Okay, 1974. But it's by Ken Keys and it's called The Christmas Wish and it's just a sweet Christmas song. Maestro.